Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Dallas. Thank you for staying with me, and hopefully you loved the music while I was gone, but I'm back. I'm back with one of my favorite favorite chef, Chef Jamie Gwynn. You guys have told me you like her on the show, so she's back. And she's back to talk about Halloween. Chef Jamie, hi. Hello, my friend. Happy almost Halloween. Thank you for having me back on your illustrious show. I'm very grateful to be here. And yes, Halloween's going to look a little different, right? But it doesn't mean we can't have fun, tasty treats. Well, we still have to celebrate, and, and I'm asking people, exactly. do, we can't put our lives on hold for, Dr. Fauci told us, he, he wear those masks till 2021, and that's okay, but we can't put our lives on hold to then. You still have birthdays, Halloween, all these celebrations, so that's why you're here, to help us celebrate Halloween. Yes, exactly. And I have some really fun ideas. So I partnered with some terrific companies. Can I run with it? I got to get all of it in. I got chef's tips to share and everything. Can't wait. Let's get started. All right. Here we go. For the grown-ups, this will make Halloween even more delightful, by the way. Smirnoff has introduced two new zero-sugar hard seltzer variety packs. So lemon lime, black cherry and orange, and the fan favorite berry lemonade. But the fall pack is limited edition, peach, raspberry, blackberry, and cranberry lime. I love them all, just so you know. Only 90 calories, zero sugar, and one carb. So cheers to Halloween. Now, this is interesting. Uh, there was a poll taken and 73% of parents are still looking to lower the sugar intake in their house. And Halloween doesn't really help with that, but I have a solution. This is my new addiction. Sabra's dark chocolate dessert dip and spread. Oh my, it is so good. <laughs> Tastes like chocolate pudding. Here's the great thing though, no guilt. Plant-based, gluten-free, vegan, and only 80 calories per serving. Lower in sugar than the other chocolate spreads, by the way. Now, I like to decorate it to look like um, a spider web. And here's how you do it. You spoon the Sabra dark chocolate dessert dip into a bowl, and then you lick off the spoon, of course. And then you take <laughs> white cookie frosting, and you put concentric circles in the bowl. And you take a toothpick and you draw or drag from the center of the bowl out to the edge and you get a spider web. Now, if you teach the kids to do this, you will fill most of Halloween night. I mean, that that's good, right? That's really good. <laughs> so that's really good. Yeah. I like to serve it sweet, salty with dippers and set it out. It, it really, truly is so yummy. Now, this is a fun, scary idea. Okay, Felder, this is super cool. I call it eyeball okay. pasta. It's spaghetti and meatballs, but I used Pearl's sliced black olives to make eyeballs that are like floating <laughs> on the platter. And it's really fun. <coughs> now, people who love olives, they love and trust pearls. I was raised, my mom is an olive lover. I'm the kid that put all 10 fingers full of olives. And Pearl's olives are always in my pantry. Their black olives are 100% grown and packed in sunny California. You know I'm a California girl. And right mm -hmm. now, they have a Pearl's Dream Olive initiative going on. So you use the hashtag Dream Olive on Instagram, you post your best olive ideas, and you could win $5,000. As good, if not better, for every idea that you tag, Pearl's Olives is donating a meal to Feeding America, up to 200,000 meals, which I think is fabulous. So thank you for letting me mention it because I get to pay it forward. Kudos to them. And then last but not least, you got to see this. So did you buy extra pumpkins for jack-o'-lanterns? I did. Of course you did. So <laughs> my kind of girl, you're going to cut one out like you were going to do a jack-o'-lantern, right? And then you're going to okay. scoop out and clean out the inside. And you're going to go to your local hardware store and you're going to buy a super inexpensive $1 plastic spigot and you poke a hole and then carve a circle two inches from the bottom of the pumpkin and you stick the spigot in. And then you can fill it with anything you like or lemonade for the kids and let them serve themselves. I call it a pumpkin punch bowl. It couldn't be easier, but it will make you a culinary hero. Oh, I like that. That's a fresh <laughs> idea. Yeah, thank you. I think so too. And by the way, we posted everything <laughs> so that you can grab the recipes and steal them and find more insight at dailylounge.com. 
And then you know that I post shamelessly on social at Chef Jamie Gwen with new <laughs> ideas every day, of course. I know, you know, and I follow you also, too. <laughs> and I follow you. I, I have the good taste to do that. Chef Jamie, you are always a delight, and you had some fresh ideas. So thanks for being my guest today on the Valder BB Show. Thank you for having me, Valder. I appreciate being back so much. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween and be healthy and well. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.